Hello everybody, I've been working on the drones, and you can see that one rotating like it's on a rotisserie. This microcarrier can handle two drones at once, but a larger carrier can handle any number of drones. With two drones, you can see it keeps track of both drones independently on different screens. The yellow mean that they're currently disconnected. That's why the other one, the one out there, was rotating. Because it's disconnected at the moment, it's spinning until it finds an angle where it's a valid connection. I can send messages to any set or subset of these, but for now, we're only going to do it to the one that actually exists. Over here, this is the message we're going to be sending. I could click here to try and send it, but uh, first off, the drone is apparently parked too close. I moved it forward so I'd have a good cinematic shot. Uh, and second off, I want to be on the drone, so sending that command from in here means nothing. Let's go ahead and sit on the drone. We'll back it up a little bit so it can actually reconnect. There. And uh, this is the drone's working memory. On the left we've got the log, on the right we've got the command stack, and in the middle we've got the status. Let's go ahead and tell the home base to contact us with a new command. You can see that we lost connection because that's required to send commands, and now we're regaining connection and we are loading up the new command set and now we are headed off towards the first destination there we go so the way this works is it uh, accelerates to a decent speed and then it coasts and that saves a lot of energy and means that these drones use almost no energy aside from the laser laser beacon uh, and there's also a command to turn the laser beacon off until you're done with all of this if you'd like so you can have really, really low-powered drones. And we are... arriving now. And we're moving on to the next one. So, you can see that this now works fine for sending complex commands over to drones, and we can load it up. Now, I think there is a max limit on the length that you can send in one go, but there's nothing preventing you from sending several messages stacked up and they'll just get appended. So, uh, the drones are working really well. The next step, if we're going to the third waypoint here, the next step is to work on maneuvering, which is using the left, right, up, down uh, uh, engines without actually rotating the ship at all. And I need to do maneuvering so I can do parking. Uh, once I've done maneuvering, parking is pretty straightforward. But that's for... I'm not sure if I'll finish that today or not. Alright, so now we're going to ask home to send us its coordinates. We're saying, okay, send a message to send a message to home to send us a home. There we are. And uh, that is the coordinate that we're going to send... we're going to go to, and we're just going to head on back. Now that may seem uh, a little bit over the top, you know? You don't actually need to have done that. I could have just gone to wherever the laser was pointing. But I wanted to show you that we can contact home for a complex message at any time. We don't need to uh, wait until we're back at home to get an update. And of course if I was standing in the base I could tell the base to uh, uh, to send out new messages no matter what. So now we've parked and we've parked about 136 meters out which is perfect. So that is how these drones work. They work pretty well. I'm going to work on maneuvering, and uh, that will allow me to tell the drone to park at these connectors. And once the drone has parked, it will be able to do whatever it wants to do locally. And then I can tell it to disconnect and all that stuff, and it'll truly be automated, and I won't have to do any um, sort of work to keep the drones up and running. Anyway, Odin requires a lot of screens, as I may have mentioned. That's why I built this. You can see that here is Odin's log. Over here is Odin's status, which right now is mostly empty. I need one screen per drone, and one screen per command. Along with the commands, I also need a button to activate the command, and I need a light to make the command, uh, to tell Odin to activate it properly and send it out. Um, I could do that by just turning the screen on, but if I did that, then you wouldn't be able to see what the command is until you sent it, which is hardly great. I guess I could do it by turning the screen off. I didn't think of that. 
yeah, I could probably optimize it away, but I do kind of like the way that these flash when you tell them to do things. So, if I were to see, it flashes to let you know that it's working. Now if we press tab, you can see how we're sending that big message out to the drone, which is... Oh, there. That's it. It's on its way. The same circuit we just did is going to go do that circuit again. From in here, you can actually see that it does lose connection several times uh, as, as it moves. So that is the nature of drones. They work pretty well, and uh, we are going to be making them so they can park. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm sure you'll see another one at the end of the day.